What's up? Today I'm going to talk about like what it's like to have older parents. My mother's 65 years old. She's turning 65 years old today. And I'm 21. She had me, so that would be like around 44. She always wanted to have a child. Um, I'm a single, a single, uh, single child, only child. She always wanted to have a child, so and she always wanted it to be a boy. She wanted more kids, but when we got me, I was her last, really our last realistic shot of having a child, because she was starting to go through those hormone changes, which would have made it more difficult. And yeah, I was conceived, and now I'm here. So I'm an only child to a single mother, because my dad, well, that's a whole different issue. But, yeah. How do I feel regarding that? I love her. There's two, I feel like there's two generational gaps. So I have instilled values from another generation since I was young. It wasn't, I feel like, young men and women might start to get those traditional, traditional learnings from the internet. But... To me, it was, I feel like, more instilled since birth. I have a lot of things that I feel like I was born with. P principles that I was born with. And I, could, I, I don't say this as to, like, boast. But I say this as, as, as just, like, a fact. A fact that has its own consequences. Because if you're born with some certain principles from the get-go, you start to, I would say, really notice the difference between other people your age or the people in certain circumstances. You, st you start to be like the wise one in the group or start to just change groups as a whole. So how do I feel? Number one, different music tastes. So that's, that's a pro. That's a pro. Um, she has amazing music tastes old classic music and my grandmother my american grandmother while my mother was working i had to stay with a babysitter and she was she's an african-american you know a person of color that has very old movies that has even like bigger age gap so i was raised by people way older than me i mean yeah that makes sense right but a couple couple generation older so i had these instilled values and it's really with my american grandmother which i was my babysitter that we became really close that's a whole nother topic but what i'm trying to get at is that uh older generations have really really helped shape who i am i feel like that's something i would want my kids to have that's why i really want to have kids i wouldn't say early but i do want to be there for my grand grandkids and possibly my grandkids kids possibly i would love that i would love to have that generation now i want my mother to last i want her in my life but in my 20s i'm working this is my time to grind grind this is my time to learn a lot to discover myself which i already know but this is the time for me to commit sacrifices. And of those sacrifices comes time. Time and location. I am far away from her. I'm in New York. In New York and she's in Colombia. So it's it's a distance. And I have to because here there's a little more opportunity. Obviously, I have the blessing of having really good opportunities over there in Colombia. But the thing that I want to work on and me as a person, I want to, I want it tough. Number one, I want it tough. I want to just work on things, gain the skills that I want to gain, and not just work on the skills that I already have innate. So I, that's why I left Columbia, to be a better, to be a better person, to have better skills, to have, to see how it is to live. And yeah, that's a sacrifice. Because I'm far away from her and the clock is ticking. I hate to say it that way, but the clock is ticking. But I'm just so happy that she's in my life.
we don't have the best relationship. I'm just happy that she's my mother, though. Like, our relationship is very uh, rocky. Because I feel like, strangely enough, I feel like the more mature one in the, in the relationship. But she has very good wisdom and insights and things. But the way she goes about it is very uh, immature, I would say. So we have a very disconnect, you know? It's like a couple generations. Like two two more generations. It's like just think about it. Your parents are forty years older than you. Have like different different thought process and and culture and upbringing than your normal parents, your normal friends' parents. And yeah, that just makes you a little different yourself too. The only thing is that I feel like I'm very very against time when I want to have kids because I want to have kids as soon as I can as soon as I can I know it's a sacrifice but I'm willing to make that sacrifice I'm willing to give up my time I'm willing to give up certain dreams I'm willing to do that because I love I love kids and kids they're like my kids' goals would be so much more fulfilling than my personal goals for them to fulfill even the smallest of goals I'll feel way more fulfilled and happy that I was able to witness that it's just just a whole different video I want to talk about on that so returning to how to feel to have older parents I want to you kind of feel like you have to have kids sooner you want them to be, to be around your your kids you will have more commun this mis like different communication miscommunication communication issues you have different values you grow up very with very different values the correct ones so i'm a little outdated but most most of them like stand the test of time i wasn't allowed to sleep over at somebody else's place and i like the stigma is that you know not stigma, it's like stereotype. Guys are allowed to do whatever, and you know the ladies will have to stay at home and all that. At least that's when you know raising traditionally, or that's how my friends' parents raised them, which are all guys. So the guys were able to go out, do whatever they want. The girls, yeah, they have to take care of them a little bit more. You can't go out a certain a certain amount of time, but guys have like free reign. Like, why don't I have free reign? No, you have to be at home by eight. At first, I was six. A couple of years, I grew up. A couple of years older, seven. A couple of years older, eight, and then nine, and then well, yeah, then I grew up. Like, yeah, you know. So, so yeah, I you know wasn't allowed to sleep over at all or camp, go camping. Uh, uh-uh, nothing, nada, no camping, nothing. They were allowed to sleep over at my place, but I wasn't allowed to go. Nah, I was not allowed to stay at another person's place. Even when I got older, at first it was kind of like, I still don't want you to sleep at other person's place. I'm like, I don't feel like I want to do it anymore. But if, I, if I'm if i like far away, I'm, I'm going to sleep over. <laughs> but yeah, different values, different lessons. I just wish I had more time. I wish I had more time. I take care of her full time. As in, not full time, sorry. I take care of her completely. Food, housing. Well, I already have the house, but I'm paying for all of it. And, you know, for her hobbies too, which is interesting. And I've done that for a couple of years now. But it feels, feels like I had to grow up a little faster. And I don't, I feel like there's a little bit of resentment there. But at the same time, there isn't. Because thanks to that, I was able to think and be who I am today. And I won't. I don't resent that at all. And maybe that's like what motivates me for my kids to have a better, better startup. And that's amazing. So I don't resent. Just it's hard, you know. I want to. I want to run more. But I know around this age, it starts to decline a little bit. But she's eating healthy. I got her on on that. I got her on that healthy mentality, healthy mindset. She's switching up all that stuff. And yeah, 
it's gonna go good. It's gonna go great. But I really want to be successful soon. I know success takes long, but I don't want it to take too long. I want to start having a family. I want to start being around my mother because I want her to help, you know, train the kids <laughs> or be around, you know. She must get lonely. But she's used to, you know, being alone, alone. Just us two or just her, her by herself. She isn't a very lonely person. She doesn't get, you know, depressed because of that. But still, humans are social creatures. And I know there's sometimes that she she would want me to be around. Of course, she always wants me to be around. But sometimes she must really want me to be around, even though I don't talk that much. But yeah. Value your parents. Value. Value your parents. Value their time left. Talk to them almost every day you can. And try to really take time to do it. Just say hi. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, look at this. They love it when you just show them something random that interests you that might not interest them, but they'll think about it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Read their text messages. And when they send a bunch of links and stuff, that's just like, uh, I know it happens to everyone. They send a bunch of videos uh, about random stuff that it's kind of like, oh, okay, it's like, wow, oh, that's so stupid. But, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, find things in common that both interest both of you. And, and save all the little shit that she sends you or he sends you. Save it, man. When you have time, just watch a couple of them and then say, oh, remember that video you sent? Yeah, that was all right. It'll make them their day. That's all I have to say. Thank you.